I am going to be bringing you a video podcast, video blog, whatever you want to call it, um, hopefully on a weekly basis, giving you updates on the shop, what's on my needles, and just the little fun Texas style knitting. Um, contrary to what some people may think, it is not too hot in Texas to where you cannot knit year round. It may be 90 degrees out right now, and yes, it's May, and probably going to get close to 90 degrees, but we have air conditioning, and it gets cold, so we need to knit a lot. Anyway, um, so I want to go over some things. I will probably be editing this video, so you might see some stops and starts, um, because I do have the shop open, so as customers come in, you may need to edit, um, stop the video, and obviously help them out. So that's one thing that I really want my shop to be known for is customer service and really helping, trying not to shake the camera, um, really helping my customers out with what they want to knit, um, if they have issues with their knitting, picking out yarn, really just being a friendly hometown yarn shop. Too many yarn shops, and I think it's starting to change now, thankfully. Um, but when I first started knitting, um, when I would go into some yarn shops, they're not even around anymore. Um, but I would always feel just, eh, you walk in, they might say hi, and you were just left alone. Which sometimes you want that, and I totally get that. And if you want to be left alone in my shop, I'll leave you alone. But most of the time, people want a little interaction. Hi, how are you? How you doing? Can I help you find something? You're looking for a project. No, I'm good. Okay, great. That's fine. Um, or, yeah, I saw this pattern on Instagram. I can't remember the name or whatever it is. I'm here to help. Um, when we do eventually hire on more staff in this place, they will be here to help as well. So first off, I want to talk a little bit about what's going on in the shop. So today is May 25th. Uh, May 25th. This will go up in the next couple days. So this will be fairly relevant. June's calendar, we have a lot of events going on in June. June 1st, we still have two spots left for beginner knitting class from 1 to 3. It's $30, and you'll be making a facial cloth. Um, come a little bit early so you can pay for the class and pick out your yarn. And if you need needles as well, you can pick that um, because you do need to buy your supplies separately. Um, but that is happening from 1 to 3 on June 1st, beginner knitting, and just two spots left. Um, if you missed that, don't worry. There's other beginner knitting happening in June as well. Of course, every Friday and every Saturday that we are open, we have sit and stitch. So you can come bring your crochet, bring your knitting, bring your lap loom, bring embroidery or needlepoint. I really don't care. Um, but come sit on the comfy couch and hang out and knit, crochet, and do your fiber arts with us. Um, please do not feel obligated that you only have to work with things that you bought in the shop or that you don't want to come because you don't want to feel obligated to purchase something. It's a free event. Just come hang out with me. I really enjoy the company. Um, so don't feel like, oh, I'm not going to come because I don't want to feel like I'm forced to buy something. Because you're not. Totally not. Um, then this Saturday, probably around noon, um, U2 Yarn Company is coming in and doing a trunk show. She's going to set up that Saturday, and at 1-ish, tentatively, she's going to do a talk about, and it's free, open to everybody who wants to listen in, about the different sheep breeds and why, why do you care that there's different breeds of sheep in your wool, meaning... Okay, hey, yeah, we all know what merino wool is, but when it says BFL, Blue Face Luster, or um, Corydale, or Rambouillet, what does that mean, and why do, would I want one over the other, vice versa? So just going to talk a little bit about that. And the trunk show will stay here um, the 6th, 7th, and 8th, and, and it may have to go back with her on the 8th. It may stick through the 9th. We're still checking schedules, um, but I'll keep you posted for sure. Come by the 8th if you for sure want to grab some of her yarn because we don't know for sure that she'll be sticking through the 9th. Um, then on June 9th, we have a beginner sock class from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's $20. 
and it's limited to just six attendees and so we still have I think two or three spots left so if you would give me a call um, or come by the shop if you want to sign up for that um, and then very important I am going to have to close the shop from the 13th through the 16th um, because I'm going to be out of town with my husband he has a work trip that I have to go to so um, I won't be here um, so please bear in mind we will be closed that week. Any orders placed online from the 13th through the 16th will ship out on the 18th. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then the rest of the month, it's our normal sit and stitch times. Of course our normal um, days of the week that we're open, Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 5. Um, and then the last class for June, oh no, we have another class, um, June 7th is another beginner knitter class. That one is um, empty, so we can have up to eight people um, attend that class. It's one to three on a Thursday afternoon. So $20 beginner knitting, and you will get your choice. Um, you'll be learning just the basic stitches, so you can choose to make either a dishcloth or a scarf. Um, it'll be really fun to to do that class if you are a beginner knitter or have kids, teenagers, college kids, back from school, family coming in for the holidays or the summer and they want to learn to knit, um, definitely have them come in for that as well. Um, and then on the 30th we have the intermediate crochet class from 1 to 3 p.m. Um, and that is building, if you attended the beginner knitter class, or beginner crochet class, you can attend the intermediate. Or if you already have a working knowledge of your crochet, sorry, I had to see if they were coming in or not. Um, if you already have a beginner, um, just lost my train of thought, crochet. If you already know the basic crochet stitches, chain, single crochet, double crochet, for the basic stuff. You know, if you already know that, um, then you can come to the Intermediate Crochet. It's $30. You're going to be learning stitches like basket weave, cabling um, with crochet, which is actually really cool to do these twisted cable stitches in crochet. Um, and then like a little lace pattern. So you can then implement that into an afghan or onto a scarf or on a shawl border, things like that. And the teacher is going to explain, she's amazing, um, really explaining how you can really do some cool stuff with crochet. And I know a lot of us mostly knit, but crochet, that's how I started actually into this. My mother is an avid crocheter. We have so many avid crocheters that come into the shop. I mean, why miss out on another really cool thing? Because you can make a lot of neat stuff with crochet. It's not just boring, boring granny squares. So <clears throat> that is pretty much our calendar of events for June. July, we will be closed on July 4th, and um, that's a Wednesday. So we will be closed on July 4th, and then July 5th, 6th, and 7th, birthday bash. Woo! So I'm still working up everything for my birthday bash, because my birthday is the 6th, but come join me. It's either going to be the 6th and 7th or 5th, 6th, and 7th. I haven't decided yet, but it'll go out in our monthly email. So if you're not signed up for the monthly email, sign up on our website. Um, but there will be yarn at a significant discount. There will be some sort of dessert. I don't know if I'm going to do cake, cupcakes, brownies. I'm partial to brownies, but some sort of sweet thing will be happening. We're going to have um, specials, free gifts with purchase. We're just going to have a lot of fun and giving stuff away. Not like yarn. We're not giving yarn away. Okay, I wish, but we will have discounts on yarn and other good stuff. Um, and then we have another trunk show in July from Chicken Coop Dye Works, which I'm excited about on June, uh, not June, July 21st. So be sure and come by the shop, support our indie dyers that come in for the trunk shows. These indie dyers, this is how they make their living, is selling to yarn shops, selling on their Etsy shops, and coming and doing trunk shows. So show your support for your local dyers. Um, I'm really, really strong about getting these local dyers in to the shop so that it exposes you guys and it gets them a little exposure and you know I only bring in stuff that's quality so I hope you enjoy it. Okay moving on to some things I should show you what's on my needles. Well if you saw my Instagram post last night 
Okay, so I regularly do not knit that fast, but I was in a hurry and I wanted to get it done and it was just basically garter stitch. So garter stitch I can do fast, but I finished, when I say finished, it is finished. The ends are not woven in, but this beautiful birds of a feather. but it is gorgeous so this is Ching fibers look how just flat that is okay I have my hipster shawl on and let's take this off so the this birds of a feather is Ching fibers and it's so lightweight I mean it weighs like nothing and yeah I'll weigh that when it gets done but I mean Oh, so, so. Mm, I love it. It's just so nice. Um, so we have. As I was knitting this, I sold out of all of this colorway, which is denim. Um, but we will get more in. Um, so don't worry about that. If you really had your heart set on this, really like stone with blue and just a hint of green and brown. It's. She says denim. I almost think it reminds me of like a concrete kind of color, but it's just beautiful and super neutral. So I wear a lot of black or navy. This would just be gorgeous with it. Um, so we will get more colors of this in, in the fall, but in the meantime, you can get a similar look with slate. So I have slate and the fingering and the mohair. This has just a hint of purple and then the rust colors, which would be gorgeous, I think. So this is slate. And then we have, I think we have, we have seven colors, yeah, seven colors of mohair available with corresponding matches of fingering weight, except for oyster. I think we already sold out of oyster. but. Just some other options because yeah I mean it's nice to do the, like the original pattern get exactly matching mohair and fingering but you can also do really similar ones so this is Ching Meadow and Cherry Hill and so while it's not an exact match we have Cherry Hill if you want the exact same thing that's on the mohair on the fingering we have that but I think this just is such a really gorgeous color this meadow with the cherry hill. Love that. And then, oh, also, and I only have two skeins of Yarn Carnival's parchment left, but it pairs so beautifully with the champagne from Ching Fibers. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous as a birds of a feather wrap or anything that you wanted to do up with two skeins of fingering and the mohair. I mean, you could do, I think Vera's new shawl, new, I say maybe last week. Um, we had some kits done up with that as well with mohair, but, um, so that's, that's my birds of a feather and that's some options for you. We also have some kits made up if you just want to grab and go, um, already made up with the patterns. Um, or I can put the pattern in the new Ravelry, or if you already have the pattern, just with the yarn. Then I still have on my needles, I still have this. So this doesn't know what it's going to be yet, because I'm just kind of making it up on the fly. But it this is our custom colorway for the shop. From Twisted Owl. Somebody came in the shop yesterday and was like, that looks like camouflage. And in a weird way it kind of does. But it's a really nice color and it is just the tiniest bit brighter in person than it's showing up on the screen. But it's still a really fun colorway. But it's going to be some sort of wrap with these big sections of stockinette and then going into like some eyelet kind of thing. But 
I'm still playing around with it. And once I do finish it, I will see about writing it up in a pattern if anybody's interested. Pattern writing is not my thing. I will just be honest. I have two patterns. You can get them free because they're certainly not designer quality. But they work. At least they worked for me. Um, so I have that. I have, you know, don't put everything on. So I have that. And I do have still in work in progress. But now that I've finished the two shawls I was working on, I'm going to get back into this. This is the squared poncho or half a squared poncho from Beata Jazik um, Hedgehog Fibers. So this is the back. Oh. So the back. And then I'm starting on one of the front sides. And I'm just doing kind of alternating greens and yellows with the black. I thought it would be nice and springy next spring I guess but it's okay it's fun it really is and it's gonna be a nice kind of well it's because it's two strands held double kind of a marled effect um, it's gonna be a nice wintry kind of poncho thing it's very bright not normally my colors but if I knit with my colors that would be black and gray and navy blue so that's too hard to see because I knit a lot at night um, Okay, so that's mostly what's on my needles. I have like a million things I want to cast on. What will I actually cast on? I don't know yet. Right now, the Harlow hat by um, Andrea Mowry just got released, and so they're doing the Harlow hat KAL. I may get suckered into doing that. I need to cast on today if I'm going to do that, but I don't know yet. Um, the other things that I'm looking to cast on... And yes, I have access to tons of project bags, and I have some really nice project bags. Lululemon totes hold a lot. So, oh, I technically have this, the little one color brioche towel. It's a pattern that I have. I need to finish it. It's a gift from my mom. Sorry. I do need to work on that. Okay. I will work on that. Um... But some other things I want to cast on is I want to, I know I'm late to the party, I want to cast on Sunset Highway. No idea where, what I'm going to pick for colors. I was thinking orange and pinks. I never wear orange and pink. But the, the main color, I sold it all because I was telling someone how I was going to take this, 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 and this to make my Sunset Highway out of it. They loved it. They bought it. Which is great. I think it's awesome, but now I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to stick with blues and grays because it's what I would actually wear, but I don't know. I want to make Josh. Josh is my husband. He sometimes comes into the store and sits in the corner. You can probably meet him. Um, this lumberjack. It's hard to see. And yeah, I printed these out when my printer was out of ink, so they're all in black and white. But it's a really nice, just kind of basic men's pullover. So I want to do that. I want to do Pohe's All the Love. No idea what I want to do with that in. Of course, I want to do Andrea's uh, Find Your Fade Cardi, or Comfort Fade Cardi. That probably won't happen until the fall. Oh, Rhapsody and Cables. I'm going to try this again. I swatched and got Gage in a cotton mix yarn it's like two years ago started doing it in the cable and it was like totally off gauge and I haven't picked it up since but I'm gonna pick a different yarn it calls for worsted weight but I've tried it now on like two different kinds of worsted weight and I don't get gauge so I'm gonna try and go down to a DK I think that will work because I do tend to be a little bit of a loose knitter so I'm trying to be a little because I don't like sloppiness. Um, and then the Staring at Stars um, 
Party by Alicia Plummer has caught my eye, and I'm thinking this, Arroyo. This is, I don't know, Bioris? Let's see. Boreas? Boreas? Anyway, thinking that. That would be really pretty. Um, oh, and for Josh's sweater, if I can get Gage, I have a sweater's quantity of this from years ago. If I can't, I'm going to do a real pretty dream and color brand gray. Um, I think it's Torchwood. We have some of it in the shop. You can buy it before I get onto it and snag it for yourself. Um, and then this, oh, there's another project on the needles. This is actually a gift from my mom, so sorry. Um, I bought this for her. Well, I bought the yarn and said I would make it for her for Christmas. That didn't happen. I got distracted and opened a yarn shop instead. But this is Madeline Tosh Silky Moreno. The pattern is from actually another yarn shop called WC Mercantile. I don't know if they have it for sale in their shop or if it's available on their website. I'm going to try and find out because I will finish this and put this up in a shop sample because we have loads and loads of colors of Silky Moreno in the shop. And it's just a fun, fun, easy pattern. Um, and so hopefully I can get with them and see if the pattern's available on their website or how they, how you guys can purchase it so you can also get that pattern because it's a really nice one. Oh, and then there's also Campside Cardi by Alicia Plummer, which is a nice one. So those are all things I'm thinking about. Oh, no, there's another one. This is actually the one that's probably going to get cast on. Next, the Hayward from Julie Hover, because I watch too much Espatrico, and I love the Haywards that Melissa's always wearing. So I think I'm going to do this. This is Paris Night. That's just... So gorgeous. This is Malabrigo. Malabrigo. Mal yeah, Malabrigo. I talked with one of the, Mariana, one of the ladies at Malabrigo. I was like, how do you actually say the name? Because Malabringo, I hear a lot in Texas. Malabringo, there's no N. It's Malabrigo. Ah. Anyway. So that's what may or may not end up getting finished or casting on my needles today. Um, some other things that we have in the shop. Well, there's a couple things we have in the shop. Um, of course, we got in two weeks ago, I think now, loads and loads and loads of Qing fibers. Um, so grab it while it's still in stock. We have the plied fingering. We have single fingering. We have, the, I think, just five colors left of the MC and DK weight from Ching and we have I think eight colors left of the Aran. This is so so lovely and it's just $34 for the Aran weight of the Ching and it's just gorgeous. These are some of the colors. This is underwater and this is salt. Um, this is panda is black hair. Black hair I sell out in just about any weight. I have I think three skeins left in plied fingering and then just a couple skeins of the Aran left. We had like 12. Um, we also we had last week the Bayou City Yarn Company come and do trunk show. Shelly was so great. Um, and I kept three colorways um, for anyone who missed, kind of three signature colorways that she offers. Um, they're in the shop. One's on DK, I think that's the Dirty Beach, and then two are on a single fingering. And they pair beautifully with the custom colorway that Yarn Carnival did for us, which is the blue, teal, just a little bit of emerald, which we will be getting a fresh batch of that for the fall. 
Um, we're probably going to get fingering and decay weight for that as well because I know several have been asking for decay weight in our custom colorway. So we'll be getting that. Um, our custom colorway through Twisted Owl, we still have fingering and we have decay available for that as well. Um, other things in the shop, if you haven't been in since we opened or anything, we now carry the soap um, wash. We have the little minis like this, great for travel size or if you just want to test out um, soap if you've never used it. We have the full size and then we also have these fun little travel packets or if you just want to test a scent that maybe you haven't had before. And we also have testers so you can smell. Um, at home I have Celebration, which I really like, but this Lacy is kind of growing on me. It's probably going to be the next one I get. We also have, aren't these so cute? Can you see their little, their little sheeps? And their soaps from Molly Klein Design. They smell like fresh, clean sheets. Um, and it's Shea Butter Soap in the shape of a sheep. They're so cute. They're just six bucks. They make a great little gift. Mother's Day, teacher appreciation gift. Um, I don't know if you give that for Father's Day. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Um, then some other things we have new is we have more likey, or licky, licky, <clears throat> licky needles. You have, I was told, you need to push the word to the roof of your mouth. So, licky, licky, <laughs> uh, it's like an outtake, licky, or you can just call them, like we say in Texas, licky needles, lacky needles, <clears throat> licky, uh, driftwood needles, but we have the fixed circulars in. We don't have all the sizes yet. We have all the so small sock lace sizes, and then we've got, I think, up through fours, and then I've got seven eighths and nines, I think, on 24 inch, and then I have a few sizes on 40 inch for Magic Loop, um, zeros, ones, twos, threes, things like that. More sizes will be coming in. We'll get, be getting the full size, they're just back order. Um, and if you like the interchangeables, I, we have the interchangeable, the five inch tips and three and a half inch tips available separately with all the different cord sizes or you can get the full set. Um, this is the five inch tip. We sold out of the three and a half um, earlier this week but we'll be getting more of those in as well. And we have the gray case and the black case right now. Again we'll be getting more things in as we get into fall. We also have, in case you haven't seen, a little knitting kitten. But the cutest part is the actual stitch marker inside is in the shape of a kitty cat. How cute. So for any cat lovers out there, they'll fit up to a size 17 needle. Um, these make great little gifts too. It's just uh, $8. Um, <clears throat> oh, we also still have just a few left of our knitting bowls till we get our shipment in for the fall. Um, so I think we have three or four knitting bowls left, but this is just so beautiful. This is um, made with horse hair um, from Polly Studios. It's just beautiful. We have a couple plain glazed ones as well, um, but they range from I think 45 to 65 for these yarn bowls. And then, of course, for all of you pin aficionados, we have a cute little crochet pin, the crochet on there, and we have a little knitting pin, and again in the fall we'll be getting some more pins in as well. I want to, see, I want to show you guys everything, but I also will be doing this every week, so I'll show you different things each week. Um, but some things we did just make up kit-wise, because I know kits are really popular right now. Let me ask them come in. I need to get them in. Um, but Lavanya Patricia, uh, no, edit that out. <clears throat> Lavanya just released an amazing pattern.
called Dance Hall, and one of our customers was a test knitter for her, and she's Jean Fibers, and so we have kits made up for you. We have this one, which is beautiful. A Dance Hall shawl is a three color, has a little bit of syncopated brioche, and a couple other things in there. It's just gorgeous. I think this one is beautiful. Fun springy colors and bright. More. This is more like the original um, that was done in the test knit. That's really pretty as well. So we have those kits. We have these three color cashmere cowl kits. We have these. And the pricing on here is just for the yarn, so if you have the pattern already, you can just get the yarn or we can do a Ravelry um, thing for your pattern. And then, of course, Bark Lines just came out by Hohi. And we have this beautiful, it's called Damnation, kind of red colorway from Yarn Carnival. That would be beautiful. Same with the olivine color. So we have those already kitted up and ready. And I think that's it for now. So I hope you enjoyed watching my podcast. I will get better at this as we go along because I feel like I kind of still don't know what I'm doing. But, um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Do I know how to subscribe? No, not yet. But I'm sure I'll figure it out by the time I upload this thing. Where am I uploading? I don't know. But, if you're watching this, I figured out how to upload. Yay! So, um, stop back by. Stop in the shop. If you're not local, we ship. We ship internationally. I've shipped to Switzerland, Australia, Canada, Mexico. Doesn't matter. We'll ship. If you can be shipped to, I will ship to you. Just place the order through the website. Um, yeah. And so everything you've seen today, you should be able to find on our website. If you've got any questions, you can email us at themodernskein at gmail.com. You can follow us on Instagram, themodernskein. Want to follow me personally? It's Mrs. Underscore Sharon Underscore Graff, G R A F F. Um, yeah, we're on Ravelry as the Modern Skein for the shop, and I'm on Ravelry personally as Orchid Orchid Girl 07. So thank you again for watching. This has been awesome, and I can't wait to film more podcasts and to see the viewership grow. And see you guys come into the shop. So bye for now, and we'll see you next time.